y'all feeling good? Yeah. Look, y'all, I, I am from North Carolina. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Simmer down. There's only one of us allowed at a time. <laughs> And you did the, like the southern yell too, like woo, like something's wrong with us. Like somebody may have gooched just in the side, or we're excited. Either way, it's definitely a white girl mating call. Um, <laughs> any place in the south, you walk into any club and go woo. Seven other white girls are like yeah. <laughs> like there you go. <laughs> I love it. I love traveling. I was born and raised in a small town in North Carolina, like Mayberry. Uh, okay, like Otis of Mayberry? Yeah, my town council meetings doubled as AA. <laughs> Look, not only am I from the small town, I'm from the trailer park of the small town. <laughs> now, some of y'all don't understand that. Like, they're like, oh, the mobile home communities? <laughs> no, it's a trailer park. <laughs> like, you're nodding your head and turning red like you know. Either you've been there or you bought some drugs from there. Either way. <laughs> Both, okay. If you're gonna say it, we'll go there. You might be my favorite crowd. Right? Like, I hope there's no officers here because you just totally sold yourself out. You might be high right now. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at you now. This is what's happened. You've trained. <laughs> you're all excited. There's people in button up shirts going, This is ridiculous. Y'all talk about that. Do they know where they are? <laughs> I love it. When I say trailer park, I mean trailer. Like my Easy Bake Oven doubled as a meth lab. <laughs> I got trailer park parents. I don't know if y'all know what that means. My parents have been married to each other three different times. <laughs> yep. <laughs> my dad says things like, there may be a lot of fish in the sea. I just got mine out of a small pond. <laughs> my mom's like, that's right, baby. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> She says stuff like, hey, if you're gonna keep throwing that same one back, you might as well just keep it. Yeah. This shouldn't be in your vows, mama. <laughs> These are my parents, people. And try, having parents like that, I'm trying to be a good mama. I got kids, anybody got kids? <laughs> this is the best time to have kids, right? They are the most precious tax deductions I ever had. <laughs> Well, in the last year, right? Like, right now, it's like their tax deduction, their earned income credit, their stimulus, stimulus two, <laughs> stimulus three. Like, <laughs> I'm rolling for four. Let's go. <laughs> I love having kids. And I, I wasn't going to have kids. Like, well, they told us we probably were not going to have babies. And I broke my heart because I wanted some babies. Doc four years, doctors like, not going to happen. We were at one of them churches down in the south, though, and there was a preacher who was like, come on down for a healing. So I'm going to go down front because I'm going to get healed so I can have some babies. The preacher looked at me and said, show me the afflicted area. I will lay hands. <laughs> it's really my husband's problem. <laughs> We got babies. <laughs> Just different in the South. <laughs> We're very different. I love traveling around the country, though, because you can go anywhere in the country, and it's different. But apparently, if you have a Southern accent, people treat you different. I don't know if you do. And I try to say things without an accent, but some words come out slow like something's wrong with me. <laughs> like, like, some words I'm good. Like, y'all get it. But like, other words I'm like, um... Potato. <laughs> so I'm ordering food and people think something's wrong with me. I like, I like a side of potatoes. <laughs> and then tomatoes. <laughs> and then chicken. <laughs> I love to eat. Um, eat anybody else love to eat? <laughs> yes. This side. Y'all went crazy. You're like, mm, we're not into that. <laughs> okay. We grew up eating a lot of, uh, like, deer. Y'all eat deer? Okay. The two trailer park people. Oh, this is... This is getting real deep in here. Uh, I'm glad we brought you guys in. Uh, <laughs> look, I ate a lot of deer growing up. Not because we're good hunters, but because we're bad drivers. What you call joyriding, we call grocery shopping. 
the best part of a deer steak is right around the Ford emblem? <laughs> <laughs> Some of these jokes are just for me. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, my dad raised animals for a while, and like, he's like, if you have babies, you know, he's like, don't name them. If you name them, we can't eat them. You ever seen a baby pig before? Those things are adorable. I was like, oh, come here, bacon. <laughs> I love your sausage gravy. <laughs> I put the runt in my purse. I was like, oh, baby back ribs. <laughs> I was giving it a dry rub. <laughs> if, if you're offended by the meat jokes, I don't care. <laughs> Nobody in the South gets offended by meat jokes. I did a show in California. This woman chased me outside. Excuse me. Excuse me, funny girl, funny girl, come here. I was like, what? She goes, I'm very offended about what you said about meat. I was like, why? She goes, I don't eat meat. I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> she said, <laughs> she's serious, she goes, I can't eat anything that has a face. <laughs> so like, my steak did not smile at me earlier. <laughs> I'm mad. She's like, oh, do you know what they did to that animal? I was like, mine was marinated. <laughs> <laughs> then she got really mad. You ever see somebody get so mad that I call it spitting mad? Where they yelling at you and there's like spit and you gotta dodge it, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she's, like, she's like, do you know what these animals go through? Do you know how many poor chickens they force to live in one small cage? I was like, um, bite as me that fit into a bucket. <laughs> I'm good, original or extra crispy. <laughs> I don't think she's a fan. <laughs> I'm from a really big family. I mean, there's not a lot of us. We're just really fat. Um, <laughs> no, really. At one point, everybody in my family was like 300 pounds or more. Yeah, we were double wise living in a single wide. <laughs> In our case, if the house is rocking, it's going to fall over. <laughs> she's different. We try to be healthy. I don't know if you've ever done that. I actually have, in the last couple of years, lost over 100 pounds. Yeah, it's not easy to do. It's hard, especially when you love food like I do. And that my sister, she got healthy first, and she became a runner. You ever know somebody who's a runner for fun? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? She gets up at 5 a.m. to run eight miles every day and nothing's chasing her. <laughs> but they try to sell it to you like it's, you know, something. You know, she's like, you've got to do it. If you run enough, you can reach a runner's high. I was like, I get the same feeling when I posh off a box of donuts. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. But she calls me, she's like, okay, when's the last time you went running? I was like, when I missed the ice cream truck. <laughs> Because I've lost the weight, but I still like to eat. But now I have to work out. And so I was learning all the new workout stuff because I did join a gym. I don't know if y'all join a gym. Oh, good. Okay, because I was like, y'all know a guy named Jim? <laughs> we got to get on the same page. <laughs> so let me tell you what I did. So I got these little um, suit things. That, it's like um, spandexy things, you know? Because I thought if I got it, I would be more aerodynamic. <laughs> and I would run faster. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because when you lose weight and you're older, things don't snap back like rubber bands. You know, you know what I'm talking about? If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a way to test it. Go home or in a parking lot, jump, come back down, and parts of you comes later. We're on the same team. <laughs> I like that some of y'all are like visioning that. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> if you do that and knock yourself out, I want to watch. <laughs> so I got this suit thing. It's legs and it's all the arms and it's supposed to like make you sweat and you know all that stuff. But I'm just like I'm gonna run faster because there's you know aerodynamics. You know, that's a big word. Um, 
That's a good one, because I had to practice it earlier, because yeah, I said, if things are slow. It, that one worked out, though. It was a lot of, on the plane, riding here today, aerodynamics. You see, I worked on it. Um, so I'm in the gym, and you know if you're doing this stuff, and you run, run real fast, things start heating up. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Well, here's the thing. I wear lotions like sugar cookie. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm in the gym, and I'm aerodynamic, and I'm running. <laughs> and I'm, it's, it's heating up. And there's people walking behind me going, who brought cookies to the gym? <laughs> Me, I did. I brought the cookies. <laughs> and then here's, here's the problem, though, because I had this suit on, and I felt good. Like, I felt like I was doing something, and I was heating up, and then um, I felt a breeze. <laughs> Some of you understand where I'm going with this. Some of you don't. <laughs> Sometimes, when you pack a bag, too full. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? Like a Ziploc. <laughs> you ever put too much stuff in a Ziploc bag and there's a part of it just not strong enough? You know what I'm saying? So this is what was happening. I'm, I'm fast as I can, and cookies smell, and it's all awesome. And then in the middle, right in here, there's the exposure. <laughs> so now, as I'm running, my legs are clapping back and forth. So basically what's happening is my body is cheering me on. <laughs> That's, that's jokes for you, sir. Not, I try to individualize it as much as possible. If you, if you find one you like, hold on to it, okay? <laughs> Gosh, this is so much fun. This, I'm counting this as workout. I hit other on this special watch. Y'all have one of those special watches? You do that? You know what I'm talking about? The smart watches that tells you to breathe? <laughs> okay, look, I didn't know what to do. My watch told me to breathe. I was like, what's wrong, watch? My smart friend was like, you just turn that off. I was like, shut up. <laughs> that was yours, see? It was yours. Be ready, you'll get another one. <laughs> I'm just having fun at this point. <laughs> because I'm about to go back to my kids. <laughs> I do love my kids, but one of them has become a teenager. So you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I have a son who became a teenager, and uh, now it's like a stray dog. <laughs> now let me explain. Like, you don't know if it's friendly or if it's gonna attack you. <laughs> so you don't know if you pet it or just throw food at it. <laughs> if you've got a teenager, you'll never look at him the same way again. <laughs> and if you need to, you can spray him in the face with water. <laughs> That's not my fault, because before comedy, I was a dog trainer. <laughs> that was really a job I had. <laughs> and so sometimes it carries over into my new life. Like, somebody made a mess on my floor. I, I rubbed everybody's nose in it. <laughs> and then I put them outside. I was like, y'all think about what you did. <laughs> I don't know how to be a good parent, y'all. I am trying so hard. Like, I, I tried um, timeouts. I don't know if y'all do that. We had like 17 timeouts in one day. Yeah, they were beating on the door and screaming. I'm like, I'm not coming out. <laughs> not until my attitude changes. <laughs> and then it was Thursday. <laughs> I homeschooled for a while. I homeschooled my kids for a little bit. Not for religious reasons. I just didn't want them getting smarter than me. <laughs> But then math got some letters in it, and I was like, y'all need to go to school. <laughs> and then COVID hit, and school sent them back. <laughs> that is a sick joke. I was like, I put you in school. They're supposed to keep you. <laughs> now it's like we're in a custody negotiation, right? Because <laughs> the school's like, we'll take them two days a week. 
And I'm like, no school, you get at least three. This is how we did this. I don't care if there's a COVID, they can wear a mask. And if they do something wrong, spray them in the face of water. It works at my house. I, don't, I told you like I, I lost the weight. Here's the thing, you can be beautiful no matter what size you are. Can we agree on that? Woo! You may not be everybody's cup of tea, but you're gonna be somebody's milkshake. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, just... I like the people who like it, because they're like, ha, ha, ha. and there's some people going, uh-uh. <laughs> I just didn't know how big I was, I, okay? Here's the truth. First, this is a safety precaution, okay? I told y'all, I was over 300 pounds. If you're a certain size, there are things you should not wear. Can we agree on this? Yeah. Me and you, sir. Okay. <laughs> you should not wear animal print if you're the same size of the animal. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm from the South, you will get shot. <laughs> <laughs> I told that joke at a bar one night, and a woman up front said, anybody can wear snake skin, it's slim, and the guy beside her goes, not if it looks like you ate a cow. <laughs> I was like, y'all been married more than five years. <laughs> Isn't that true though? Like any more than five, if you're married more than five years, you can start saying stuff like that. Less than five years, you still like them. <laughs> You know I'm right. <laughs> Anybody been married more than 10 years? <laughs> you guys been married to each other? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Here You're for your anniversary? Happy anniversary! Yeah. <laughs> Please don't let me be the only gift you gave her. <laughs> How long have you been married? 13 years. 13 years. That's awesome. You got kids? How many? Three. Three. Congratulations. Y'all can cheer for that. Jeez. <laughs> they were scared. Like, what's wrong with them? They got a sister. There's a sister wife at home, isn't there? That's what's happening. <laughs> Look, I said that one night, and the boy, yeah, she's watching the kids. <laughs> I'll not do that again. <laughs> I'm trying, I try to be healthy, like I really am trying, I, but I love things like Krispy Kreme. <laughs> People who like Krispy Kreme never cheer for it, they just make noises. <laughs> just like what happened right there. I say Krispy Kreme, nobody goes, yay! They go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did, didn't he? It was hilarious. <laughs> he wasn't even excited, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know about Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme's got a light. Do y'all have the light here that comes on? Some of them say hot and fresh, some of them say hot and now. That would be the best tattoo ever, wouldn't it? It's, like, <laughs> it's a tramp stamp right there. This is going way downhill. <laughs> I love Krispy Kreme though, because you get there when the light comes on, you see your donuts get cooked, get on a belt and get in a box. You get there fast enough, you can get on the belt before the cops show up. <laughs> Back home, you just want to sit out in front of the Krispy Kreme and watch it, because it's like a giant bug zapper for fat people. <laughs> but, oh, we're here! <laughs> you can laugh at that. We did it. <laughs> it's like a homing beacon for my family. I don't know if y'all know this. Um, there's a special underwear store that they used to send out free coupons for undies. Y'all remember that? I'm talking about the, the secret store. <laughs> and it wasn't much of a secret. I got free underwear coupon. I was excited, because them things like $15 a pair. You know, mine come in a pack. You get like a dozen of them for $3.50. <laughs> so when I get special underwear, I was excited, but I was 300 pounds. I walk into this special store with my coupon, and a woman behind the counter goes, oh, I'm sorry. We don't come in plus sizes. Would you like some soap? I was like, no. Nope. I want draws. Oh. Draws or underwear, I forgot where I'm at. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to the store and I pulled out every pair. I was stretching them out. I was like, whichever goes the farthest. <laughs> Granted, I'm 300 pounds or more. 
I, the only pair I could actually stretch was a pair of black string bikinis. <laughs> I tried them on, it looked like I was wearing an eye patch. <laughs> My husband walked in talking about erg. I was like, shut up. <laughs> You know you're big when you put on underwear and lose them. <laughs> when, I, when I was real big, I was doing a taping for another show, and that wardrobe person brought in a suit of uh, Spanx. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's a, if you don't know, it's a compression suit. It's supposed to make you two sizes smaller than you are. Just makes your muffin top two inches higher on your body. <laughs> And depending on what size you are, you get cleavage on your back. <laughs> Nobody should be double D coming and going. <laughs> you don't get that joke. Whatever. <laughs> but it's a whole suit. And there's no buttons or zippers or strings or nothing. It's like kneecaps all the way up. You got to get in it. It's like, it's like trying to put sausage back in a wrapper. <laughs> When you're big, that is a tough thing to do, okay? And they made me do it, and it was too small, so I had muffin top kneecaps. <laughs> and it wasn't like the special suit for aerodynamics. This was like, you know? And some women love them, and men too. Y'all know they make spanks for men? Yeah. No, I'm not looking you on purpose. I don't mean it like that. I didn't. <laughs> Terrible time to make eye contact. I'm very sorry. <laughs> That mean too was an accident. Offended. You're not offended? I'm offended. You're offended? I'm sorry. <laughs> Have fun. Google menspanks.com. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to wear the whole Spanx thing, and it was not fun. And then I realized if you don't get the off brand spunks, <laughs> Because they're cheap and you'll get a hole, it's like a mushroom growing out your thigh. <laughs> It'll run like pantyhose. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> You're playing leg fat whack a mole. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are you okay? <laughs> I know that's the visual you wanted tonight. <laughs> And I really don't feel sorry for the women who buy it because they know what they're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for the men in their lives who don't know what they're getting into. Because <laughs> that thing's going to come off and pop like biscuits coming out of a can. <laughs> There's going to be dough flying everywhere. Stuff like butter me not, baby. <laughs> if you are gonna do it, you should put some confetti in it. 